for coming. I think we're just going to launch. There are, well, I will say there are programs in, on that back table if you didn't get one. This is the first time in my life I've ever made a program for a concert. Usually we just, right. yeah, we just, there was so much here where we thought maybe you'd actually want to be able to look up all the bathrooms or something. Um, what else? The bathrooms are downstairs. There will be an intermission in the middle. Um, I think that's it. Welcome to Palm City Concerts. Uh, we really love being able to do free concerts because we're sponsored by Palm City. So. And thank you to the Palm uh, Public Library for sponsoring. Yeah. And, well, I will say, okay, one more important announcement is that um, some of you may have seen that Alma was going to perform with us today for our Alma. She's not able to be here today, but you, if you come Thursday next week to the Randolph, Hometown event, she will be performing with us there at 7 at the Chandler and Randolph hometown next week, also free at 7. Um, and she's also giving her, she'll be giving, doing an event, another event later in the month, also with Home City involving a feed swap and poetry and lots of other cool things on the 17th. I just looked at, that. I want to answer that to break my neck.
I always thought that snow has an odor. I can wake up without opening my eyes on the morning of the first snow and know it is snow. They say to keep a notebook beside your bed, to capture dreams before they escape.
Thanks for being here. <laughs> if you couldn't hear this poems by Rebecca Rice, <laughs> thank you for sitting with us. Oh, also, Heidi Wilson is in the house. And this is a tune that was commissioned. It's still unnamed, as far as I know, but it was commissioned by you, so. Named for a Question that continues to sit with us is how can 
how can some people from a diaspora that's experienced a genocide then do something just as horrific to another diaspora of people? So something I wonder a lot about hanging out in multiply marginalized spaces is you know what motivates for people to hurt people. So. What are we in danger of forgetting? Better to ask what we are in danger of remembering. We are all in post-traumatic stress. We catch the lateral pass of our unconscious parents, toss it to our offspring, to our survival. Thank you. 
and now people will discover that and try to think about what religious cult they are in this part of <laughs> This is called Nonpartisan by April Austin. And we met this poem on a window of a shop in town during Home City a number of years ago. That's how we met April. This one is one of mine from a few years ago. Sweet. 
This one is mine, and it is somewhere in my career that I started this year's at Home City display. What shop is it on? Where is it? Actually, it's in the Montreal Senior Center, which is a good place for it. I can wait in line at the supermarket, judging the man who, like myself, is slow. Slow to find his credit card, slow to pack his groceries. Or I can know that we are the same, he and I, living through this phase of our lives. Sad to be so slow, embarrassed to be keeping people waiting. Glass 
learned about that over time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have conflicting access needs in our household. <laughs> I'm 
myself on paper and call it my honor. Then I will be safe in a shield of words and an undeniable to 
rec hard cardboard record, 78 RPM, got recorded in 1948 in a New Orleans recorded on booth um, by Tennessee Williams. And one of the records contained a poem that I instantly fell in love with and memorized. It has since been published, and my favorite line in the poem has been changed. So the version you're going to hear has the original line. And I think the reason why it got changed is that how many of you know the character Pierrot? See what yeah. I mean? Yeah. I think in 1948, more people would have heard of Piero. He is a character in the Commedia dell'arte. Um, mimes often play him. White. And uh, he is constantly wooing Columbine, who always rejects him. This will be followed by a much more contemporary poem by Michael Kisar Moore called The Year Gentleness Died. First intensive feelings. I think the strange, the crazed, the queer will have their holiday this year. I think for just a little while there will be pity for the wild. I think in places known as gay, in clubs, in cabarets, in bars, Pierrot will serenade Pierrot with frantic drums, with frantic drums and sad guitars.
before a shattered world can begin to heal. It might first float here, amid moss and minnows, in the shimmering mist of an approaching dawn. We have only this body and only one earth made from flesh and blood of porous mountains where a doubtful heart may soak in warm uncertainty. You can stay a while with breath and gratitude, your only God, a primal sound pooling and rising from somewhere deep within your belly.
little poem, Guardian Dreams. Thank you. 
Yes. 